Jim, first of all, it's been said of the, the coach lad role that whoever played that role would have to plunge himself into the toughest year of a complicated man's life. What was the challenge for you in that role? Uh, that he's alive. <laughs> uh, that people would put the judgment down pretty hard uh, on you. And the coupled, um, normally when you do a script, you have the, just the, the foundation of the script that you're working on. This one, there's another one, and that's him. And then there's the, the uh, part of impersonating or imitating him as opposed to capturing the spirit of, of what he was about. Um, I, you know, was uh, also the, you know, there's many aspects. You got the sport in itself. I've seen sport movies where I look at it and I watch a basketball movie that I played, uh, and I say, I don't believe in this. I don't believe that guy really plays. I'll be worried about that. I've never coached football before, so, but, um, and then who are we going to get to, um, you know, play Terry? That 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 was a, you know, this is an odd couple, and this is a very. <laughs> There were a lot of things that could go wrong that didn't go wrong. Mm -hmm. So much of it went so well, uh, and we had a very short period of time really to, you know, to do it, but we've both done television before, and you learn. You move quickly. Yeah. <laughs> it's called pushing the good button. Indeed. Just go right for the good button. Michael, how would you say that, that Coach Ladd and, and Coach Edson are, are the same, and how are they different? Well, um, they're the same philosophically and in terms of their goals. Uh, ultimately, they're, they're in lockstep in terms of what they want to accomplish, which is not about wins. Uh, I mean, naturally, they want to win the games they play, but really what they want to accomplish is uh, mentoring these boys into young men who can be relied upon. And that's powerful. You know, where they're opposite is, you know, uh, Coach Ladd is uh, minimalist, less is more, quiet, powerfully, uh, powerful in his silence, in his, in his soft-spokenness. Whereas <laughs> Terry is uh, much more demonstrative and a bit of an excitable boy. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, <laughs> which Indeed. Perfect I wonder special <laughs> teams in the defense. Uh, Did they talk yeah. to you about the special teams? We haven't even talked about that. Oh, no, we haven't. All these oh, headhunters yeah. that he builds. You know, it's an honor to be on his special teams. Absolutely. Basically, the guys are the crazy, tough, I mean, the, the heart and soul of the, of, uh, that they represent a fierceness of, of a warrior uh, and a cobras. Cobra. Yeah, that's right, the cobras. And the, uh, you know, you're, you're sprinting at each other mm. when you're on special teams. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, you're, you're, you're specializing in collision. <laughs> uh, you know, so it's crazy. And yeah. love it. And love it. And love it. Yeah. Real, real quick. People left that movie crying. Why do you think that is? Because it touches the, the, the aspects of the human condition that inspire and that are best about us. I cried personally when I watched it because there's things about it I miss. And sometimes it's that thing and says, you can be better. Beautiful. Thank you both.